Right, so our first job of the day is on this very nice 14-inch uh, plane wave, we have a rotator. This piece of equipment here, which allows the camera to be rotated around, makes it easier to find guide stars and to orientate the image. But we seem to have a little bit of a problem with the rotator. Um, so we're going to take it off, take it apart, We've got a new motor to fit. We're going to give it a service. So we're going to take it out, re-grease, and then we're going to try and reset. There's not really much in there. It's um, a very simple mechanical system, uh, apart from a little ele electronic board, which we've got a replacement if we need it, and also the motor. So hopefully it will be something simple in there and the service will sort it out. Right, so we're back in the office and we have in front of us our Pixis 3-inch camera field rotator. So this is what turns the camera around, allows you to pick a guide star um, easier and also to orientate your image. Now, not everyone has these. Actually, most people don't have these, but um, some people do. And this one we've got a little problem with, so we're going to take it apart, give it a service, We've got a new motor and a new motherboard for it. Um, and we're going to try and determine what's wrong. So we have a new sent from Optech motor and Bosch motherboard. Now, obviously, this is not going to be of interest to many people because, you know, these things not many people have. So, but this is what we do here at the observatory. If a problem comes up, we try and deal with it. Uh, on site because obviously we're remote and it's a pain in the ass to uh, send, send this stuff back. This stuff to go back to America. So first of all, we remove the cover. Right, so first of all, we're going to um, take the motor out and release that off of the spindle. We're going to take out the drive spindle uh, we're going to clean all this grease off. We're going to clean all the grease off of the wheel. And we are going, it does actually feel very sticky, so maybe. Uh, then we'll take the wheel out and we'll clean the um, the wheel as well. And then we will re-grease, put it all back together, put the new motor in, um, and hopefully problem solved. So, first thing first, let's just release the motor, which is Quite simply, two screws. There we go, and that releases that out. It's very simple. There's a little bit of play in there, so we'll have a look on the new one to see what the difference is. If there is play, we'll replace it because we've got one, and if there isn't, we won't. Right, so next we'll take out the, the bearing blocks which release the drive spindle, so we can inspect that, clean it, and have a look. And we'll carefully lift that out, because we don't want to disturb the orientation of anything in there. Oh, one's still attached. Okay, I'll just release that off. And we'll leave that in situ just there. Well, that's pretty simple. It all rotates nice and smoothly. So I don't think the issue is there. But the issue could well be that the grease is, is got very hard. Um, we're going to... The motherboard can just stay there. We don't actually need to take that off. So next thing is to take out the drive. Um, I've never done one of these before. We, I'm guessing that these bearings will need to come out. And that is spinning nice and easy. Okay. Let's just squeeze 
those out. One. Two. And three. So obviously, as you can tell by these, these are on a, um, there's a, they're on a little cam. So they can obviously be adjusted to put a tension onto the wheel. You don't want a tension, but just so it's sitting on the wheel. Okay, everything in there spins nice, but I think we do need to whiz that out. Next, we're going to take the wheel out so we can clean all this excess grease off. That lifts off there. And then I'm assuming that just lifts out of there. Clean off all this old grease. And we're going to re-grease with a uh, lithium bearing grease. Using a, a simple solvent, we have cleaned all of the old grease out of the bearing. So you can see it's now all clean. So the, the old grease is gone. And we've also got it all out of the drive as well. So what we're going to do is just want to get a little bit more out of there. Uh, and all I'm using is a simple solvent. So we're just putting this thin smear of that into the into the teeth. We're happy we've got a little wipe in all the way around, which we have. And that will slot on very nicely, spins very nicely. Next, we need to put back um, our top plate, which just goes on there. And then we'll just nick them up, we'll turn it crossways so it pulls down nice and we want it to pull down nice and easy, uh, evenly. Next thing is the bearings. We'll put the bearings in before we put the, the drivetrain in because we can tell them whether the bearings are in the correct position because they'll be holding down nicely. Make sure they're all moving, which they are. No problem there. To get them to sit nice and flat on the face. None of this stuff needs to be done too tight. You've got to be careful you don't over wrench you know, especially little allen keys because you'll end up ripping the thread out of things like these bearings if you're not careful okay and now we need to make sure that the bearings are sitting on the wheel that they're turning but turning loosely we don't again we don't want to grunch we don't want to tighten the bearing down too tightly this has got to run freely so if we look that bearing we can see is turning that one's turning that one's not turning so what we'll do is just turn the cam round until it touches so we can see it's all running nice and smooth and there we go so the bearings are touching they're not overly tight this spins really easily so a little wipe of grease in the drive wheel before we put this back in so we've cleaned the um, old grease out of the end drive where the motor drive and we've cleaned and renewed the grease in the drive wheel in the middle there now before we put it all back together we're just going to check out that all these allen keys are tight while it's off it's a very easy time to do that so we'll just check all those There is definitely a bit more play in the in the in the bearing of the motor. So what we're going to do, we're going to replace the motor while we're at this stage, 
just makes it nice and easy while everything's out. So we've we've snipped off the old motor. We don't need that. Uh, we've assembled the new plug onto the new motor, and we're going to twist the wire. So because this needs to be kept out of the way of the drive, so that will go like that. We'll just leave that there for a minute. Uh, we've got this hard cover to go on there. Okay, so that's fine. And then we are now going to put back in the drive. Holding the bearing together. Just nip these up. The spline of the drive is engaged fully into the the teeth on the wheel, which it is, which is what we want. So we'll just double check. That spins nice and freely, and it does. And there's no play, so we've got it nice in a, in a good position. So now we need to do these up. So next job is motor back in, and we're just gonna put the same again, just the tiniest amount of grease around the drive wheel. Okay, so there we are, so the motor's in, Drives all back in, we've done up the bolts, we've checked to make sure it all spins freely, it does. We've done these up, we've tensioned the bearings down very lightly, and so it's just put back in the motherboard. Now we do have a new, a new motherboard, um, but I don't believe that we need that, so we're gonna leave that off, and we make sure we put the plug in the right way around. They are actually, um, they do actually tell you what colors go where. Right. So all we need to do now is just check that we've got the wires away from the drive, which they are. Um, and that, make sure it's down there. That's it. So that's our rotator all back together. So all we need to do now is put the cover back on, reassemble it back on the scope and, and give it a try. Hopefully um, that's cured the problem. If it hasn't, then we'll go down the road of changing the motherboard, but um, I don't believe the motherboard is the issue. Um, I'm hoping that it was the grease. We'll see. So there we have it. Rotating it nice and happily. Been through its sequence. We've now got all the weight back on. And uh, it seems absolutely perfect. <laughs>